This video is intended for eye surgeons for training and education purposes. Viewer discretion is recommended. Friends, this video is to introduce you to the concepts of balanced forces to prevent genular dialysis and using epinuclear shell to prevent posterior capsular rent. During the key steps, the video will run in slow motions repeatedly so that you can take the concepts into your subconscious mind. By this time, the incisions have been made. This is a heart cataract, nucleus sclerosis is grade 5 and though the red glow is good because of the stereocoaxial elimination, the nuclear sclerosis is grade 5 and the lens fibers are very sticky, gummy and leathery. In this case, we must do a rexis which is about 5.75 millimeter around 5.75 millimeter. It may be 6 millimeter, but it should not be less than 5.25 millimeter. So, after doing rexis, hydrodissection is done. We cannot see the fluid wave most of the time. We just see elevation of the nuclear mass. We just tap the nuclear mass gently. Do hydrodissection at multiple points with small amounts of balanced salt solution. And then the nucleus is rotated and here goes the FICO needle. Some superficial cortical lens matter is removed. And now watch, I am trying my submarine chalk technique. The tip is buried in the substance of the nucleus. It goes through the nucleus towards the opposite equator. As it reaches near the opposite equator, I am try to crack the lens. But in this case, the fibers are so leathery, I could not get a nice crack. I hold it again and I get a partial crack. From periphery, it comes to about 30 percent towards the center. I go to the other side, sculpt, go to deeper plane and get another crack on the opposite side. And the leathery band is, you know, it is binding the two heminuclei and this is balanced force concept. Let us see this again. Go to the other side, go to deeper plane, try to separate this. Sculpt, make the plate thinner and now as you apply opposite forces, this opposite forces should be almost equal so that you prevent genular dialysis. If one force is more and other force is less, then there is more chance of genular dialysis. This is the concept of balanced forces to prevent uh, genular dialysis. And now we divide the nucleus into uh, pieces, divide the heminucleus into pieces and now we will see the concept of contact lens that is using the epinuclear shell as contact lens to prevent PCR. See, this leathery nucleus can be peeled off and the epinuclear shell is there. I do not try to remove this epinuclear shell. Let it occupy some space in the antechamber. Here I am peeling off the epinuclear shell, peeling it off and I am trying to remove only the hard nuclear mass. And sometimes this epinuclear shell runs here and there and this is the last part is very important. Peel off the epinuclear shell nicely and as you emulsify the last nuclear piece, this epinuclear shell should sit on the posterior capsule as a guard, as a barrier so that if you, if you hold it, you will hold the epinucleus and not the PC. Thus, you protect the posterior capsule very nicely. See this again, take it into your subconscious mind, peel it off, 
emulsify the hard nucleus. Let there be a gap between the nucleus and the epinucleus. No? A gap that, fill, that is filled up by fluid, by BSS. Use very a controlled amount of energy at this time. Press the foot switch in just such a way that you get as much energy as it is necessary. If you need 80 percent energy, your pressure, your press should be like that. If you need only 20 percent energy, your press should be like that. Train your foot like this and use this contact lens concept in hard nucleus and your PCR, posterior capsular rent rate will be negligible. You will not remember when you did your last PCR. So, friends, take these concepts of balanced forces to prevent genular dialysis and this epinuclear shell using as a contact lens to prevent posterior capsular rent. And rest of the surgery is routine. You clean the cortex in the way as you like. You can use coaxial irrigation aspiration. You can use bimanual irrigation aspiration or as I am using a 23G Simcoe cannula, you can use that. And now we have to implant an intraocular lens. The intraocular lens in this case is a single piece monofocal lens. Most of these patients in my place, they come from a poor socio-economical background and they cannot afford a premium lens. So most of the time we have to implant a, a hydrophobic monofocal intraocular lens. And this hydrophobic lenses are good in the sense that the PCO rate is less, posterior capsular opacification rate is much less, much, much less than the uh, PCO that is produced in hydrophilic lenses. Now the antechamber is, you know, uh, uh, to be lavaged after closing the side port and a final lavage is very important uh, after hydration of the side port because when you hydrate the side port, corneal stroma at the side port, some particles go inside. So I do a final lavage and I suggest that it should be done and leave pure balanced salt solution at the end and you can inject. Um, very carefully you can inject moxifloxacin as the last step or even uh, you can just apply moxifloxacin over the cornea. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills and it will uh, you know influence you to take the co these concepts of balanced forces and contact lens.